Evolve your game and get a $150 bonus. Sign up now at TVG.com. Kentucky's great. I love the state of Kentucky. And this is where all the good horses are. You give yourself a lot better opportunity, a, a chance of, you know, getting getting those good horses. Ma Billet Do is very game on the outside. Ma Billet Do resilient to take it for Stuart Elliott. Well, who proves him wrong? None other than Stuart Elliott, the hottest rider here. Since moving his tack to Kentucky at the start of the Keeneland meet, Stuart Elliott has taken Kentucky by storm. But no catching creative spirit. Stuart Elliott, three wins on the day. I really like it, the synthetic. I've always liked the synthetics. Yeah, no, things are going great. Um, I love it here. It's a beautiful place, and I'm happy to be here. Yeah, that's Stuart Elliott winning again. And it is Sean and Stuart Elliott. Stuart off to a good start today. Takes the early double. Stuart Elliott putting on a clinic here the last couple of races. Yeah, knock on wood, everything's going good. Elliott has averaged winning a race a day for the first eight days of the Keeneland meet. Yet, it was the spring of 2004 when racing fans in Kentucky and around the world first took notice. Usually people that are off the track that you meet and they'll ask you what you do, and when you tell them that you're a jockey, they'll, they'll ask like, you know, where, where do you ride? What are your, what's your main track? Have you had any good horses? That's usually a big one. And then, you know, and then I'll say, uh, Smarty Jones, everybody seems to know that horse as soon as you say, they still remember. And you know, it's been 10 years, but they still remember Smarty Jones. And Smarty Jones is rose to the lead by journeyman jockey Stuart Elliott. And here is the first undefeated winner of the Kentucky Derby since Seattle Slough in 1977. What a moment this must be for Stuart Elliott. A 39-year-old journeyman, he has just won the race of a lifetime. But it was the race prior to America's most famous race, the Arkansas Derby, that left Elliott feeling the biggest burden. Actually, the most pressure I felt was going into the Arkansas Derby. It was my first million dollar race, and the horse had to run first or second to be able to go to the Derby. And it's Marty Jones, one step forward to Kentucky, and one giant step to five million dollars. After the Derby, Elliott and Smarty Jones won the Preakness by 11 and a half lengths. They would try to become the first Triple Crown winner since 1978 in the Belmont Stakes. And a lot of things can go wrong. You just hope that nothing goes wrong, that your horse gets out of the gate and that you have a good trip. And I always says, if, if we get beat, I just hope we get beat without an excuse, fair and square. They're coming down to the finish. Can Smarty Jones hold on? Here comes Birdstone. Birdstone surges past. Birdstone wins the Belmont Stakes. It would be the first and only defeat of Smarty Jones' career. He would never race again after Belmont Stakes. Smarty Jones would be retired from racing to become a stallion. 10 years later, at the age of 49, Stuart Elliott has finally made the move to Kentucky after spending the better part of 30 years calling Philadelphia home. I had kind of, you know, I was bouncing around. I was commuting Monmouth, Meadowlands, New York in the winter. And then, um, then when the purses got really good at, at Philadelphia, I didn't have to go anywhere. We had planned on coming to Kentucky anyway, and then I had an opportunity. So here we are. Elliott's not only happy for his family, but he's also hoping that he just might meet the next horse that can get him back to the Derby. I mean, just from being here the short time, I've breezed a lot of nice horses. I've, I've been, you know, getting on horses for a lot of good people that, uh, that get those type of horses, so you never know.